Hello everyone, in this video we will see how can we report on duplicate records in ServiceNow in a particular table. This was a question asked on my YouTube community by a subscriber and this question is also asked in lot of interviews. So this is a very important video. So watch this video till the end. In this use case we will create a report and also we will create a script include to find out those duplicate records and then finally we will call that script include in our report and we will see all that in this video. My name is Hardeep Singh and if you are liking my content please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash the like button. So this is the logic which we'll be following. In the first step we will be creating a script include and in that script include we will write a function to find out the duplicate records in a specific table on a particular field so we will be using glide aggregate for that one thing to notice here is in that script include function we will be passing parameters and those parameters would be the table and the field name so that we can make this function reusable so that other users can also find out duplicates for other records as well on a different table and finally we will call the script include function in the report let's quickly jump to service now and see how can we do that i am in my service now instance i will go to script include and under system definition i will click on script includes and i have already created a script include called get duplicates just to save our time and this is built on global application and api name is global.getduplicates and it is client callable if i expand this script and zoom in a bit you would see i've created a function called get duplicates function so fun and the function accepts two parameters called table and field so we have to pass the table name on which table we want to find out duplicates and on which field we want to find duplicates i have created an array called duplicate records and then we are declaring a variable for glide aggregate class and here we will be passing the table which would be passed by the function and in next step we will be adding an aggregate for count and for that field we will add some queries as well add not null query so we are ignoring the null fields just to save our time it's an optional field if you want to find out null you can just ignore this as well then we are grouping by the field and finally we are writing add having count greater than 1 So this glide aggregate function will find out all the records which will have count greater than one. So we will be taking an example of server table and we will be finding the duplicate host name. So no two servers should have the same host name, but there are many instances in my organization where I have seen there are multiple servers which have the same host name. So we can find out those duplicate host name using this glide aggregate function. then we will do a query and then we will be pushing all the duplicate records in this array and then we will be returning the duplicate records array now next step is to call this script include in a report i will type reports here and i will click on create new if you don't know anything about creating reports in service now i have created a basic video where you can learn about reporting in service now the link is on the top right corner and in the description as well also i have explained in a separate use case how to call script include from reports it's a separate video the link is again on the top right corner and in the description as well we will be implementing the similar use case here where we will be calling the script include using a report we can name this report get duplicate host names on server I will choose the source type as table and then I will choose the table as cmdb underscore ci server. I will select this. I will click on next and it will bring up the list of all the servers. As of now, we haven't applied any filter. I will click on this filter. I will type here host name and we will select is one of. So this is most important thing you have to select is one of because that array will return me multiple records it can return you multiple records or maybe it's empty if there are no duplicate records but it's a general assumption that it will return me multiple records now i have to call that function to call that function i will use javascript so this is a keyword which we have to use here then we have to use new so that means we are declaring a new object of this script include 
so i will copy the script include name here i will put two brackets and then a period sign and then i will use the function name here and paste it and we have to pass two parameters now i will be passing cmdb underscore ci underscore server and then i want to find duplicates on the host name so that is the field which we have to pass and the backend name of the field is host underscore name and in the end i will put a semicolon and i will save this report and if you scroll down you would see there are no duplicates in this out of the box instance it's a fresh instance so what we will do is now we will go to cmdb ci server table and we will add some duplicate values in the host name for that i will personalize my list i will choose host name bring it up here and now maybe for first two servers i will add the host name as abc for the second one also abc and then for third maybe xyz and fourth xyz i have renamed the host name of these four servers and these should now appear in the report that these are the duplicate values in the cmdb ci server and i will again click on run and if i scroll down you would see there are two records i will just bring in the host name as well here for that i will go to configure and choose columns and i will just bring in the host name i will click on okay and i will run this again so you would see we have the first two servers as abc so these are the duplicate host names secondly we have xyz so these two again are the duplicate host name for these two servers now we can use this script include again for a different table maybe for the incident table to find out duplicates or maybe we can use for other tables like routers computer table and so on so this is a very easy way to find out all the duplicates in a particular table on a specific column and if you want to show this report on a dashboard to some particular user you can add this report on the dashboards as well I have created a separate video how to create a new dashboard and add reports in that the link is on the top right corner and in the description as well I hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new and if you still have questions or any feedback please let me know in the comments I will be happy to reply to them and thanks for watching video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button thanks everyone